send greetings. It's October 1st, the full moon, the first of the blue moons. Ah, this is our respite from the chaos is this hour of internal peace, external challenge sometimes. So I'm really glad to see you all here. We're going to try and beef up. There's my new sign. Everybody, I love my sign. So when you go on YouTube, you'll be able to read the sign. It's going to go at the park somehow. They gave me a sandwich board that's as big as a body. I can't even get it in my car. I had to hold it like this and try and put it in the door. And it's so big. I'm going to beg on Desert Age Project for a sandwich board. But... Um, Try and spread the word, grab some of your friends. You know, no one's turned away for lack of funds. You know that, although I, we always encourage you to go to the payment live sites. But, you know, it's um, for all of us, it's better. There's more, not better, but it's uh, more abundance with more people and more spirits gathered and holding space and energy so invite your friends and it's so easy on zoom because no one gets embarrassed because you can not see each other or see each other or whatever so i love you and show up in the park it's beautiful right now and uh, happy full moon we always draw on the illumination so let's stick up and get our Acupuncture needles aimed up at the sky. Get our electronics. Lift your chin, Andrew. <laughs> That's beautiful. Ah, and easy. So yay for October. The continuing journey. Certainly not dull. A little bit exhausting. Not dull. Rub your hands together. Take a nice deep breath. And softly cup the palms near your eyes. Straighten your spine. Relax your shoulders. And be comfortable with settling in. And if it's a little bit difficult and you're just barely are hanging in there, please invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath. Invite yourself to give yourself opportunity to sigh, to take that deep breath and that deep exhale. Invite yourself to follow your breath to your yoga, to be your breath. Find that intimate inner space where we befriend ourselves and we participate in our healing. And easy, inhale, lift up, and let's go into Happy Buddha and spread apart the thickness. For those of us out here in the desert, we spread apart the heat also. So warm for October. Open up to the clear and the sweetness. Move out through the energetic body. See how you feel. And ground yourself. And then let's gather this, all that sweetness, all that. It's the niceties. You know, gather in the honey. And easy, slide your hands on down and let's roll the torso around the pelvic bowl. Press down on the inner knees so the elbows get big. So you have room to kind of cha-cha-cha. Lots of action in the ribs. I'm leaving you just to turn down the music a little bit so Will doesn't have a fit. Good. And then easy, I think, reverse and go in the other direction. 
Oh, it's such a good sign. Ah. Mm. And then settle in, feel your sit bones nice and anchored there. Lift your arms up and overhead. And slide your hands down your heart line and hold on to your shoulders and lift your head up and drop the head back one time only. Let the tongue stick out. <sighs> tongue goes in, inhale. Inhale a little more. Elbows are nice and high, boo boo. And then exhale. <laughs> exhale out and cantilever over the edge of your mat. Now squeeze your wing bones together. Stick your elbows up. You feel kind of like a bat. I mean, I don't know if you've ever tried to feel like a bat before, but feel like a bat. Stick your chin out, stick your chest forward. Angle out, long straight spine. Lift your chin a little more, chest a little more. Press down in the legs, good. And inhale and lift up. And then easy, take the arms forward and twine the thumbs and sit back behind the tailbone. Scoop out the belly. Reach forward so you really stretch those wing bones away from your spine. Look over your fingertips. Kind of spin a little side to side. Roll the hips. Inhale, lift up overhead. Look up. And then let that right arm just float down to your knee. Let your left hand go behind your head and open up the elbow, and you're gonna just softly rest down towards the thigh. Good, bring your arm a little further away from you, Will. Good, don't tip over, though that's nice. Press your head into your hand. Keep the elbow up, keep the chin up. And easy, rebound up and happy cat to spin. Really let your head go, let your arms go. Ah, it's like you were at the beach with a big beach ball. And then spin off to the right side, inhale. And then let's just bend over that right side, torque the body, hands on the other side of the knee. Roll a little bit forward on the pelvis so the left thigh gets engaged. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Seventy-four, huh? Doing great. Kissing your knee. Now, easy. Use your fingers. Slide around. Go beyond that left thigh. Let's go to the other side. Let's lift the chest up and use that right arm to help spiral your upper back and your mid back. So you look over your left shoulder, eyes are wide, looking for your guides, your gods and your ghosts. Breathe in, breathe out. There they are. And then easy, Mitchie march back into the center. Oh, good job. That was nice. Well, wiggle and <laughs> wiggle and shimmy. That's good. You never want to stop dancing, DC. Sweep your arms forward, arms up and overhead. Look up, arms overhead. Exhale, humbly slide down the heart line, dedicating this breath to your body, to the honor, the privilege, and the adventure of housing and caring for the spirit that's nestled in this temple. Let that exhale go. Let your hands slide down. Shift the feet. I don't know about you all, but the bottom of my feet are dirty, even when I scrub them. <laughs> it's probably not very good on camera. I feel like I'm barefoot in India. <laughs> Stretch your arms out easy. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Once more up. Exhale down. Hold the arms up overhead. Slide on down the heart line. Mm, grab your knees. Press on the inside so you really can stretch that chest way out over your ankles. 
Good. Spin, spin, spin. Good idea. And then reverse the spin. Massaging the organs. You know how it goes. Relaxing, kind of imitating that spiral, that snake, that coiled kundalini, the coiled snake. And then easy back into the center. <sighs> Inhale your arms up and overhead. Slide the hands down, grab your shoulders, roll the shoulders back. Careful, Andrew. Be calm when you do this. Oh, that's much better. Move through honey. Could you go the other direction? <laughs> well, you have a cute look on your face. David, you're in the boat. And then easy, inhale, lift up, long spine up. And then exhale, cantilever out over the edge of the mat. Line the back of your skull up with your tailbone. Back of the skull with the tailbone. Long spine. What happened? Oh, I lost you. Squeeze it together. Good, good. Go a little further. Elbows up. Elbows back. Inhale, lift up. And release the arms. Twine the other odd thumb and sit back behind your tailbone. Stretch forward. Scoop out your belly. Roll a little bit side to side. And then roll the hips. Inhale, lift up. And easy. Let your right hand go on your head, back of your skull. Just grab it and then tip over to the left. Keep that elbow open. Good. That's good. <laughs> you can cradle your skull. Easy. Don't break your head off your neck, you know. <laughs> Breathing. Open the elbow a little wider, David. Back towards the back of your... Ah, that's excellent. There you go. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Two more. And then easy, inhale back up, happy cactus, spin, spin, spin. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. And back to the left and down you go. <whistles> Torque the body, find your position, roll your hips forward. Drop your head, pull the belly in, breathe into the hips. Good, try and straighten out the shoulders so that right shoulder comes a little bit forward towards the kneecap and the left shoulder slides back towards your left bottom. That will spin that upper torso so it's over the thigh. Mm. And easy, inhale back up. Michi march around. Lift up nice and tall. Take that left arm. Look over the right shoulder. Eyes are wide. Looking for the edge of the eye sockets. Heavy in the outer thighs. Extending the spine. Softening the throat. Breathing in, breathing out. And easy, Mitchy march back around, shimmy and shake. And then sweep the arms out, up and overhead. And exhale, humbly slide down the heart line, dedicating this breath to your mind and to your sweet, most radiant, the kind and compassionate, the funny, the curious, the creative, and that yearning for an alignment with the divine, some communication, conversation, dialogue with your guides and your gods, an opportunity to refresh your spirituality, your connection, your awesomeness. It's 
Slide your hands on down and easy. Pull the knees together and open the feet up. Open the legs up today. Oof. There you go. There. You can see that beautiful sign pretty well. So good. Legs are wide. And you're easier going to lift your chest up. Hold on to your shin bones. And just bow down first towards the floor. Just see where it is. Just go. Merciful heaven. Press on your shin bones. Come back up. And go ahead and rub the inner thighs. Get some blood flow to the rebar. Hey, I think your legs are straighter on your 74th birthday. They are. They're not so bad. That's a good idea. And then easy. Hands jump behind you. Point the toes to the ground. Elbows try and touch. Hands jump back by your hips. Lift the chest up. Try and touch the elbows. Point the toes and push the heels. And point the toes. That's good, Brenda. Push the heels. Breathe, Miss Linda and Lee. Point the toe or Ms. Push. Get some activity in the top of your foot. Try and stretch the top of your foot and point your big toes to the ground. That's a nice purple shirt. I don't see any legs on you today, Will. I see more of the vent. I don't see your legs. <laughs> Hands back behind you. Elbows are in. See if you can lift your chest up. Point your toes. Lift your buns up. That's good. A little higher. <laughs> There's candles, 74 candles burning under your Watusi. Breathe. <laughs> and down you come. Grab onto the shin bones, or it may be just the thighs. The shin bones, grab up near your knees, David. Up right up near your knees. Little, That's good. So that gives you a little more chance to add some angle to the shoulder. Add some angle, kind of tip over, add an angle. See if you can start to twist a little bit, Andrew, so that one shoulder goes and then the other shoulder goes. That's good. Keep the elbows big, elbows big. Hands are right by the knees. That way you can push down on that shin and open up those inner thighs. Are you breathing? Good. Elbows big. Push down on the legs. Twist a little bit, Will. Look over your shoulder. And then look over the other shoulder. Oh, mercy. We haven't done this for two weeks. Now the inner thighs are like vice grips. Or not vice grips. They're stiff. Couple more. Remember, you're just encouraging a suppleness in your body. You're breathing extra oxygen in there. Your idea is that you're squeezing and beginning that flow of the prana, the synovial fluid in the body again. And easy, come back into the center. Lift the arms up. The toes are to the sky. Lift the arms overhead. And go directly off to the right side and just tip off. The right hand goes down. Just tip off to the right side. Lift your chin. Stretch your arm. Bend the right elbow, Will. The one on the ground. So there you go. Don't go too far back, Andrew. That's good. You can grab onto that leg. That's excellent. Breathe in. Lift up. Lift up. And this windmill off to the other side. Keep that left elbow close. Lift your chest. Good. Look up a little bit. That's good. Bring that left arm a little further forward, David. On the ground, yeah. And then tip off to the side. And then easy. Inhale, lift up. And drop the hands back. Roll the hips. Lift the right leg. Lift the left leg close together. Pull your buns back behind you. Toes to the sky. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward bend. Rock a little bit. So see how your sit bones are. Breathing. 
there's a place between a relaxed head and an arc, an arced head. So see if you can find that line. You imagine that the back of your neck is not super wrinkled or super stretched. If it just hangs, then you kind of suffocate yourself. If it lifts up too hard, you wrinkle the back of your neck. So breathe in, breathe out. Let's slide the hands back by the shin bones, point the toes, lift the chest, activate the midline. Legs close together, Baba. Birthday boy, closer. Oh, how cute those toes are. <laughs> Push the heels, flex foot, look at the toes, stretch forward. Good, now point the toes and make that midline happen. Knees squeeze together, calves squeeze together, ankle bones squeeze. I can't see your legs, Will. <laughs> Push the heels. That a girl. It's hard with the black, nice red mat though. And then easy. Let's add a little smell the roses. Stack the vertebrae, dry the arms, lift up. Now you can bend the knees if you need to when you exhale over. Inhale, lift up, especially if your back is stiff. Exhale over. Inhale, lift up. Exhale over. Inhale, lift up. Ah. <sighs> Once more, inhale, lift up, exhale, inhale, lift up, hold it up, exhale, slide the hands down the heart line, rock off to the side, and we're going to roll over into child's pose early on today. So open up your knees and easy. Touch your big toes and soften on down to your mat. Take a couple of breaths. Take a little voyage through that, in, that interior landscape. Just kind of check into how your body feels on this full moon. It's always funny with full moons. It means your energy, your emotions, they're fuller. Your illumination we invite and we receive. The hunter's moon, this is. The harvest moon. It's a challenging year, obviously. So as we move into this harvest time, we need to be specific in what we're harvesting and give more energy to the positive or the abundance than to the lower energies. So we harvest the fact that we've been practicing yoga together for pretty regularly now for six months. So starting our seventh month. that we've become friendly energetically. We harvest possibly some new goals, some new practices of mindfulness or eating. I'm harvesting my Cheeto addiction. So easy. Let your brain relax, soften into out of judgment and into receptivity, good circulation, good health, cerebral spinal fluid, life force, kundalini and the chi moving up the spine into the pineal gland in the center of the brain. And then dig your fingertips in, lift up your palms, shimmy and shake. Lay the hands down, come up onto all fours and then wag your tail side to side. 
And then easy, exhale and round the spine, articulate the spine as you look through your thighs, flipping that tailbone to the sky, to the earth, and then flip the tailbone up to the sky and look through your shoulders, and then flip the tailbone to the earth and look through your thighs, and flip up, slide the belly forward, the shoulders back, and look through the thighs, just massaging the spine, massaging the spine, giving room for the discs to expand, becoming plump so that, that the vertebra can articulate, can actually really make a difference. Get that movement between the center of your wing bones. Now come back into a nice flat back. Curl the toes and sit back on your heels. Curl the toes under. The arms are out in front of you. You want long, straight arms. Look at your fingers. Activate the midline. Squeeze the midline of your elbows towards each other and drive your armpits down. That's it. That's it. Good. Breathe. Push. Push. Now just pop your knees up. Keep your arms really strong and focused. Forefinger and thumb organized. Fingertips organized. Pop your knees up and let your head drop and look through your thighs. Raise up onto all 10 toes. Heels are nice and high. Arms are strong. Flip that tailbone straight to the stars. And then pedal your heels. Breathing, pulsing, pressing your thighs, pressing your ribs towards your thighs, sorry. Breathing. Breathe, breathe. Breathe, straight legs, nice high in the heels. Inhale into plank. Just inhale into plank, 10 breaths. Before you get tired, feeling that the hinging action of your body, good. Breathing, strong hands, chest a little bit more forward, David, a little bit more forward, Will, that's good. Push the heels away, squeeze your buns, lift your knees. Lift the knees more, breathing. Last three, one, two, um, three. Drop the knees. Now easy, elbows are close to the ribs and the bosoms drop to the thumbs. Keep your chin down, your buns up. Breathe, decompress your gut. Slide your legs back. Flatten your feet, slide your forearms forward, find yourself in proud sphinx. Get yourself organized, David, good. Open up the shoulder blades. Lift, press on your elbows, good. Lift the chest, breathing. Open the eyes and look over your shoulder, see if you can see your heel. Look over the top of the shoulder, other side. Back into the center, lift the chest. Then squeeze the legs together. Knees touch, ankles touch. Bring them together close, that's good, Andrew. And lower the bosoms down. Unwrinkle the back of your neck and stretch your arms back towards your heels. Little Superman, Superwoman flyby. Inner legs are completely connected and activated. The outer hips tuck inwards. The shoulder blades. Arms are off the mat, though. <laughs> uh-huh. That's good. Lift the chin. Three more breaths. Long, long toes. Long, long legs. And lower on down and easy. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. You're going to lift up and just hinge it back into a closed knee child's pose. 
Just keep the arms long. Just hinge back and only let the hands slide towards you as your bottom slides towards your heels. Good. Keep the arms nice and long. So you feel that opening. Open your fingers, left fingers, Andrew. That's good. Breathe. Feel your rib cage moving against your thighs. Squeezing, participating in your well being, in your healing, in your strengthening, in your endurance, in your stamina, all these words that offer you a place to expand, to strive for more endurance, more flexibility. Breathe easy. Now, keeping the knees together and your ribs on your thighs, lift up your palms again. And so you dig your fingertips into the mat and you're gonna walk your arms off to the left, keeping the bottom on the heels. Keep your knees together. Knees are together, David, yes? Good, walk, walk, walk. Just stretch the side body, you feel it? Yes, that's good. Keep reaching back with your buns and on the diagonal with the right arm, lift up the palms, keep the fingers digging in. Side body. Then come back. Mitchy March, keeping yourself supported. Be careful, Andrew, on this side. Off to the right side. That left arm is long. That left bottom stays glued to your heel. Lengthen and stretch the outer upper arm, the shoulder girdle, latissimus, dorsi, wing bones, side ribs. Breathing in and breathing out, continually massaging the organs from the outside, the movement of the rib cage. And then Michi march back into the center. Lay the hands flat, come up onto all fours. Exhale, look through your thighs. Inhale, look up to the sky, flip the tail. Exhale, look through the thighs, tailbone to the heels. Flip the tailbone up to the sky. Look up at the sky. And easy. Come into the side body. I mean, into a flat back, into a picnic table. <laughs> I love the side body. It's such an ignored area. Spread your fingers. <sighs> Look at your elbows, the inner line. Stretch your left leg back. Toes are curled under. Press on the heels of your hands so that that calf gets stretched. Toes are curled the other way, I think, Andrew. Yeah, so you stretch the calf. That's good. There you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Breathing. And then easy. Rock yourself forward and lift that left leg up. Toes stay to the ground. Arms are strong. Forefinger and thumb. And let that right arm stretch up. Reaching away from the left toe, let's in, straight forward in front of you, Will. Unless you're going to go for the big grab. Lift the leg off the ground. <laughs> Longer. Push the heel. Opposite arm and leg. And easy. Lower down. Touch the elbow to the knee. And come back and easy. Wag your tail. <sighs> Find yourself organized again, belly against the backbone. Right leg's gonna stretch back behind you. Toes are curled under. The eyes are looking at the forefinger and the thumb and your fingertips, your inner midline of your elbow creases are squeezed together, trying to hug a big tree. Shoulders are back and down. 
breathe. Stay engaged, stay strong. It's like you're pushing the earth. And then easy, you hinge forward slightly and that right leg floats up. Toes stay to the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep the head in line with the spine. That's it. Stretch the back of the right knee. <whistles> Lift up the left arm. Anything on the ground is your support. Press on the top of the foot. Press on the hand. Press on the armpit. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe, David. You gotta blow out all those candles. <whistles> breathe a little higher, a little straighter, a little longer. And exhale, round the body, elbow to the knee. And lay the hands down, open the knees, sit back in child's pose. Relax your forehead to the mat. Relax. Circulate. Become intimate with the flow of prana and energy in your body. Let your mind just go out the window. Let your observation, your witnessing ability, no judgment, just observing the shifts that happen in the body. The expansive buoyant breath, the quieting of that analytical mind, the opportunity to relax, restore, renew. So easy. Again, Grip the earth, inhale up onto all fours, pull the knees into parallel, wag your tail, wag your head. Move your shoulders around, feel kind of interesting, I suppose is a good word. You're going to make your way to a standing position, but you're gonna go easily. You're gonna curl the toes, sit back on your heels again, Activate the midline of the arms, support the hands so that you are engaged. The extremities are your earth boundedness. They give you the support and connectedness. Lift the knees, look through your thighs. Lift the heels, pedal the heels. Strong arms, long spine, and then easy. Bend the knees and look between your thumbs. And you can kind of step forward, walk forward, bring your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands. Come up easy, come up slowly, hands on the thighs, straighten the elbows, open the eyes, don't pass out. Don't pass out, please. That would be a, a pity. Easy, bend the knees a little bit. Hands are on your thighs and easy. Walk your toe heel, your feet together, squeeze the knees together, drop the shoulders, lift your arms straight off your eyes like you were getting ready to maybe pretend dive into a pool and then open your arms out the happy cactus. Squeeze your inner knees together, squeeze the inner knees, sit down low, get strong in the thighs, yes or no? Yes. Squeeze the knees. Good. Go a little deeper, Andrew. Go a little deeper, David. Bend down, bend down, squat down, butt down, butt down, heart up. That's good. Will, breathe. Arms back. Squeeze the wings. Four more breaths. One, two. Go a little deeper. Can you see your toes? Three. Four, and let the arms swing back behind you. Drop your head towards the floor, the arms overhead, and then swing the arms forward. Lift your head, raise on up, eyes are open. Exhale, 
Inhale, arc back. Oh, arc up and slide down the heart line. Enjoy standing in mountain pose. Spread your feet, arms by your side, palms forward, eyes closed. Tip of the tongue against the roof of the mouth. Breathe in, breathe out. Stack your shoulders. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Notice the tapestry. Breathe easy. Notice the pulsing, the circulation, the warmth. Relax your jaw. Let your lips be plump. Your chin parallel to the earth. Squeeze the ribs. Squeeze the wings together a little bit. Lift the, pel the pubic bone maybe half an inch at the most towards your belly button so that that lower back, those lower vertebrae, which we all get so compressed, they have some space right now. Add a little energy in your mula bandha so you bind that pelvic, that root energy. Again, squeeze in energy up towards the center of your skull, center of your brain. Your eyes are soft. You're curious about the interior landscape. The brow is unfurrowed. Remembering in particular, we have that enhancement of the full moon this afternoon at like 2.30, I think, the exact one. But it gives you the opportunity to unfurl your brow, to find the coolness of the moon and let your intuition, your cyclops, your single eye, your intuit to perceive that you get the mind out of the way and just let the perceptions your intuition, your illumination. Feel yourself rooted in the earth with your feet, that outline of the shape of your foot, each foot rooted, growing roots, becoming secure, crown of the head yearning for the heavens. And easy, press down on the feet, reach out with your wing bones through your fingertips, straight off to the side of the body, extend and lengthen your arms, let them then reach up and overhead and gather all that sweetness and slide down your heart line. You're gonna bend the knees and stretch the arms forward out into a T and step back with your left foot. You're gonna step back with the left foot, find yourself in a bent front thigh, safe the thigh, the knee is safe over your foot. Your back knee is bent, your chest is up, your arms are up. If you need to hold on to your waist, that's fine. If your arms are too tired and you can dip the knee down towards the earth. Dip the knee, the left knee, down towards the earth. You'll feel it in the top of your thigh. That's good. Keep your chest up. Keep your chin up. That's good. Dip a little lower. Lift your chest a little more, Will. Hold on to your waist. Try that. Uh-huh. Good. And squeeze your elbows together behind you. That's it. Lift your chin. Three more. One, two, and three, and easy. Now round your back, release the hands. Round the back, stretch the arms forward in front of you and crouch down. Both knees are bent, crouch down. <sighs> crouch down, get low. And then easy, lay out the back foot. Inhale your arms up and overhead and open up into warrior two. So get yourself adjusted. The distance between the feet is the length of your legs. 
The right knee is safe over the top of the right foot. The back heel drops away slightly from the toes. The energy is lifted, the arms are out, easy. Two more breaths. Go a little deeper, David. And then reverse your warrior. Turn the palms up, slide down the back thigh, lift that right arm towards the sky, look up the right arm. Good, bend the front knee deep. Add some energy in your bowl, some lift, some container. It's a container. So recirculate, recycle, reuse, repeat, right? And then easy, inhale up into warrior two. Ta, kind of hit that thing with a ta-da. And then softly. Lean on the front thigh with your right arm and lift your left arm straight over your ear. Look up to the sky. Hold your uh, waist if you need. Andrew would be better. And then you can squeeze your wings together. That's good. Use your forearm, David, not your hand on your knee. And lean on your knee. Lean on it, on the thigh. That's good. Use it. And then open up your chest. Look up the sky. And then release that left arm over your ear. Inhale, lift back up to warrior two. Straighten the legs and relax. Turn the toes forward on your mat. <laughs> Breathe, easy. Toes are inwards. Let the arms go out. You're going to spin the body towards the other end of your mat. You're going to find yourself with the front knee, which would be your left knee over your left foot, your back knee bent, your chest is up, and you can find yourself doing some little dips. So you stretch the top of that right side, breathing. Very good. Good, the arms can be overhead or on your waist or out in a T. Three more, breathing. One more. And then round yourself into a little crouch. Bend the back knee, bend the front knee. Arms are by your ears. You're down low, use your feet. Strengthen the underbelly of your body. And then easy. Lay down the back foot, inhale, lift up, find yourself in warrior two, check for safety. The left knee is bent, the left knee is over the top of the foot, the back foot, the right heel is behind the toes, and you have a good stance, good distance. Breathe in, breathe out. Ideally, that left knee would be, thigh would be parallel to the earth and some lift in your <whistles> arms are out. That's good. Look over the left fingers. Turn the palms up, reverse the warrior. One, two, three, breathing. Ah, oh, feeling solid with the earth, feeling strong, feeling open. Inhale back up and just tilt on over. Turn the left forearm onto the thigh. You can hold your right waist. Stack up your shoulders. Or you can stretch that right arm over the sky or all the way over your ear. But go easy, David. Here's like this better. And then roll the top shoulder back. So that, aha. Good. Breathing. You can bend and lean a little stronger on your thigh if you want, Will. Breathing. Lift your chin just a little bit, Andrew. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. And easy. Inhale, lift on up. And bring both toes towards each other. Let your hands go behind your back. Twine the fingers. Roll the shoulders. Press down on your feet. Look up. Ah. Open your heart to the heavens. Now, without passing out, lift your head up, and your choice is to 
Let the arms go back up overhead. Andrew, you probably want to hold on to your waist. Drop your head down between your legs and roll the arms towards the sky. And bend your knees a little bit side to side. That's good. Don't fall, Brenda. <laughs> Open your legs a little wider, David. Go for glory. Happy, <laughs> happy birthday, happy baby. Stretch the arms, squeeze the, the um, wing bones. Couple more, side to side. Give yourself a good stretch. Lower the hands, bend the knees, lower the hands onto your lower back. Bring the hands to the ground, lift your head. Hands are on the ground in front of you now. And you're gonna try and squat down in between your thighs. Hands are on the ground, that's good. Lift your chest, lift your head, that's good. Breathe, David. Do I have a chair? Good, Will, what happened? Excellent. Push the knees open. All I see is Andrew's glasses. Breathing, Brenda, there you are. Two more breaths, breathe, David. You should be sweaty and hot and excited for your birthday. <laughs> and then easy, catch yourself. Don't hurt your tailbone. You gotta catch yourself to get down on the ground, right? Gotta get down on the ground, easy. And then you're gonna roll down on the ground depending how uh, organized you are. You can roll down on the ground. I kind of help myself down to my back. Grab your knees, move those thighs in the socket. Notice how the back of your skull is on the earth. You can pedal the thighs. You can circle the knees. Mm -hmm. And remember that each kneecap fits in your palm, so you can circle the knees the other direction. And easy. Bring the knees into your chest. Hold that left leg in at your chest. Stretch the right leg straight up to the sky. Drop your shoulders and roll the right foot. Remember you guide or you lead with the big toe as if you were tracing the face of your analog alarm clock. Go the other way. And then keep that Left thigh at your ribs, push the right heel to the sky and lower that leg down seven counts. That right leg is gonna reach away from your body. Om three, long, 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 elongate the leg, stretch it out, keep the other thigh glued to your ribs and then let the heel of the right heel actually touch the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. That's good. And then easy, tuck that thigh. Keep that left thigh close to your body. Lift your head up. Turn your left ear to the mat. Let your left arm extend out on the ground. Take a nice deep breath and pull the left knee across the body. Scoot onto your hip pad. That means you usually have to pull that bottom back a little bit. And let that hand, your left hand, come on your eyes. You don't want to hurt that shoulder. You'd like to find the ground, but that may be impossible. You'd like the knee to be on the ground. Breathing easily. That leg should be, you should be in a spinal twist, David. Down on the ground, go all the way to the ground. Hold on to your forehead. That's good, get the knee and the foot down on the ground. There you go, there you go. Twist the body, three more breaths. One, 
two and three and easy roll back onto your backs using your belly unhook the legs bend both knees into the chest drop the feet on the ground and bounce the hips it's a spinal twist with the heavy leg the bent leg on the top so we're really opening up that spine stimulating the kidneys and crimping that blood flow through the thighs massaging again all the organs so tuck the knees into the chest pull the knees into the chest both hands go on the right shin bone stretch the left leg to the sky move that left leg and foot in a big circle tracing the face of the analog clock move the left foot in the other direction loosening up the ankle keeping a range of motion in your body and then easy seven counts to lower that left leg far away from the body reach through the heel om one om two keep the back of the skull down om three om four om five reach the leg long om six let the heel touch om seven Pulling that right thigh to your rib cage and your waist and stretching the top of that left leg far away from you. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift your head and turn your head to the right. Try and get your right ear on the mat. Let your right arm go off at shoulder level. Keep that right knee at your waist and inhale and spiral off to your left spinal twist you can bring the top arm with you david all the way so you have both arms to your left and the left the right knee on the ground the left leg straight get the knee all the way down good job there you are and then whatever you're comfortable with opening up andrew try and finish this off before you have to go yeah, good. Let your body have an equal stretch. Turn your head. You can bring the right hand onto your eyes. Stretch the right arm open like a big wing. Keeping that right knee on the ground. Squeezing, exaggerating the breath. This is the position of the wash rag. The wringing out of the wash rag. Breathing. And easy on your exhale, pull your belly into the backbone, roll back onto your backs, unhook them, bring the legs back in for a hug. Drop the feet onto the mat, knees bent, bounce the hips. And easy, let's take the arms by the side, fold, unless you have a brick or a blanket, fold the hands into little fists. Keep the arms right next to your rib cage, lift your bottom and tuck your little fists underneath your rump. Adjust a little bit, scoogee around so that the biceps roll underneath your body. Bring your knees into your chest and stretch the legs up to the heavens. Soles of the feet are open. The body is in an L shape. Modified inversion. Brenda, you know if you feel more inspired, you go right ahead into a more of a shoulder stand. Easy. Legs are straight. Push the heels. Activate the midline of your legs. Remember, the trembling is excellent. That's the cleansing of the nerve endings. Just imagine the soles of your feet open. Let all that moonlight shine in. Let the valves relax. Encourage that arterial flow. Good for the complexion, good for the brain, good for the digestion. Excellent for your heart. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Legs up to the sky. If you need to hold on to your thighs, you can. David, stretch those soles of your feet straight to the heavens. Stretch the legs a little straighter, Will. Three more breaths. One less. Good. Two. And three. And easy. Bend the knees into the chest. Drop the feet onto the ground. Slip your hands from underneath your rump. Bounce your rump. Move your hands around on the wrist. Wrists. I guess it's. And easy. Lift your arms. Lift your shoulders. Lift your head. Look at your kneecaps. Stretch the legs out. 30 breaths. Breathe. In and out through the nose. Flattening the belly. Brenda, you can go a little lower. Now, Will. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Go for it. Good idea. Good idea. Wow, Will, that's hard. Are you breathing like crazy? David, what happened to your legs? This is for the birthday cake. Arms are up. Head is up. Legs are up. Last 10. Breathe. <laughs> Breathe in. Squeeze up. <laughs> Breathe out. Stretch the legs out wide. Stretch the arms in a big T. Relax your body. Easy without breaking your head. <sighs> Take a big exhale. Ah. And just. Release and surrender to the earth. Relax your face. Soften your breath. Notice that tingling in your body. Notice the tingling in the surface of your skin. Notice the activity as the prana circulates through your vessel. Be amazed as you relax and release and surrender to the earth. Be amazed. Give yourself every opportunity to relax, to heal, to restore. Your familiarity with corpse pose or with Shavasana or with the cloud floating or the magic carpet ride. If there's no push, no force, all you do is receive. You are vulnerable to the sweet breeze on your skin the circulation within your body. You witness and observe. Feel that subtle tingling at the crown of your head. Your smooth face, the unfurrowed brow, and the plump lips. Hollow from the soles of your feet through your pelvic bowl. Hollow through the palms of your hands, your inner ears. Mm -hmm. 
There's an opportunity to remind ourselves of our clarity, of our inspiration, our intuition, the joy of dancing, our laughter, the bubbling, the funny dreams where the energy bubbles. And every day we remind ourselves that we can do something kind, that we can be kind, kind in the midst of chaos. Making friends with your guides and your ghosts, having that opportunity to communicate or dialogue or dream of your guides, of your alignment with the divine. Send some prayers out, certainly to those of yours that need it and to those of ours all in general, animals, plants, people. enemies who send our gracious love and light. So breathe in and reconnect with your body softly and easily. Breathe into that belly button, that birthday suit button. Breathe into that original source, let the breath Expand and flow through the body and to the fingertips and into your toes. Easy. Slide your thumbs across your fingertips. Reconnect the nervous system. Breathe into your toes and wiggle. You can rub the soles of the feet together. Sometimes people like to do that. You can exhale and bring your hands to your heart. Step your straight legs together and lace your fingers and twine the fingers and reach them up and overhead behind you. Long and tall. Ooh. Point your toes and flex the feet and flutter your eyelashes and put a smile on your lips. And wow, happy hunter's moon, happy full moon. Exhale, tuck the knees into the chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Harvest moon, roll off to your left side, particularly in that full moon. We maintain our honoring and welcoming to the light. And we press up to a seated position that's comfortable for ourselves. Sit softly, scan the body, let the arms reach away from your earth boundedness and float up and overhead. Fingers and thumbs stay together, petals open, the chalice, the cup softly and humbly slides down the heart line. We receive 
again that amazing cosmic energy, that juice. Exhale the fingertips together. Keep the palms around the precious flower blossom. We take that same path, that same path that for centuries upon centuries we have bowed and honored and greeted and welcomed, enthusiastically welcomed that sparkling divine light within ourselves and others. We know the sameness of our blood and the sameness of our breath, no matter how difficult we welcome, we are grateful, we are gracious. And we thank ourselves and we thank each other and we thank the whole family, the whole experience. Thank you so much for being here on this Thursday as we enter into October and happy birthday so much. To you, David, thank you so much for being a dedicated student to your betterment and your enlightenment and your yoga practice. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Namaste. Namaste.